Yeah, so we start in the HTML right now, right? So we have a design. We're gonna follow what this design has, but we're gonna use our own images. All I want you to do is follow my instructions, follow what I do. Trust me, you will be able to succeed in this. This is gonna be such a cool project because it's gonna show you what it feels like to be a full stack developer from scratch. Hey guys, so let's get back to it, man. All right. So, I want to tell you guys something, right? If you come here and you click the star, you know, it's going to take you to, you know, the Git, right? Now, I want you guys to help me out, make sure to let everybody know about this, because I just want to know who's actually doing this tutorial. I know a lot of people watch my videos, but if you don't give this a star, I don't know if you're actually doing the tutorials. So, all I want you to do is just give it a star and make sure that you check over here you know, it's going to be different branches, which I'm going to do right now. I just created one, which is, you know, Bape Store 1, Bape Store 2. So, Bape Store 1 is where we last left off, which was just the introduction, right? So, if you guys ever want to find out exactly where you guys are up to, and if the code that you're doing is right, then you're going to have this here, you know, just for reference. You know, where you could just look at the video and say, okay, this is video 2. Let me go to Bape Store 2, right? So, show you this. Okay, I just refreshed. You see, now you have Bape Store 1, Bape Store 2. All right, guys. Now, let's do this. Okay. <laughs> let's get to it. Okay, so, let's get the design. Where's the design? I think I have it here. Where is it? Public, image, and then we have Supreme. Cool. All right, so we're going to start with the header. This whole section here. Matter of fact, we're going to break it down into sections. We're going to say, okay, header, image, content. But all of this area is going to be like content area. All right. So I'm going to break it down to probably two or three parts. Forget about this. This. You know, components for React. We're going to do that later on. For now, let's delete this. And let's start. So, like I told you guys, we're going to break it down like this. All right? Bring this here. Okay, we got div. You know what? Let's, let's act fancy right now. Let's create a section. All right? section this HTML5 kids if you don't know about this it's all right it's just pretty much like a like a div right so we're gonna do a section just to be fancy and we're gonna say okay we're gonna start with the header right so we have the header let's put a class on this or we could even do an ID just to name it header and then we're gonna say div I should be using, I forgot what's the name of it, um, the little thing when you press tab, I forgot. I'll tell you later on when I remember. But what I'm talking about is this. When you go like that, you see it actually does it for you. I forgot the name of it. But let's continue. All right, so we're going to say, okay, section, div, we're going to name this logo. All right, you're gonna copy this. Okay, now you ask yourself, why am I doing this? Okay, remember I told you this whole area here, oops, this whole area here is a header, All right? So inside of the header, we have the logo, and then from there, we have the menu. So that's what we're gonna do right now. This is like a side area. Matter of fact, we only have two sections for now. So we're gonna say logo, and then inside of it we also have menu. So we have logo, menu. All right, cool. Now let's do this. Uh, name this babe. You know, and then we're gonna go in here and create an order list. 
And then we're going to create allies. And then inside of it, we're going to create anchor links. Or we could even just put it outside and say, you know what? Oops. I'm going to create this into an anchor link. So href, we have home, lookbook, which is usually a gallery. Okay, put this here like that, put that like that, okay, put this here, let me open it up so you guys could get used to this, and you could actually see that the menu basically is inside of the header, right, and then you have the logo and the menu inside of it. Now, inside of the menu, we have the unordered list and the anchored link. And now inside of the anchor link, we have a list list item, right? The reason why I did this is so when I click on the list item, I want it to be a link. I could have gone and put this anchor link inside here. I could have did that. But the problem with that is it's not going to cover the whole, you know, the whole list, the whole list on um, thing <laughs> sorry all right so it's not gonna cover the whole thing so you're gonna see why I'm talking about it all right so let's say home now let's go and copy this for look book okay men's women's Okay, sales, stores, why would it, I don't know why sales and stores is there, that don't make no sense for me, okay, so we got home, uh, I don't like how that sounds, I'm gonna, remove the sales and we're gonna call it uh, let's go to the babe store let's find out what they got and I just want this thing to look as realistic as possible mm -hmm. one of the reasons why I chose the babe store is as you can see it's super slow it takes forever they haven't updated this website in God knows how long and it's kind of a shame I hope that one day they see my video and they'll be like, you know what, man, we should update our website. Like we make millions of dollars. So why the hell do I have this old ass website? You know what I mean? So, all right. So we got news. Okay. So web store, babe cart, babe online, baby, my little store. So cool. Let's go back to this. Oh, as you can see, as we type, this shows up here. Cool. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do what's the news, right? Cool. All right. News got added. All right, now let's look into this freaking thing. Okay. Okay, so now let's do this area, which is the content area. Let's create another section. Sections are just a great way to separate things. And like you know a brand new section just started. So let's do this content area. Alright. Oops. Now inside of it we have two, which is main photo and content. All right, let me see. Div class. Oh, yeah. well, matter of fact, call it model. Model. All right. 
and then the side of it we have this area and this is where we're gonna break it down we're gonna come here and we're gonna say okay we have uh let me name this differently this area we could call it I don't want to name it content area okay content area already exists I don't want to name this content I should name it info cool all right so we have let's say h5 men's all right then we have h1 now remember this h you know when you see h1 h2 h3 h4 5 h6 they're all used for headers that's what it means it means header one so basically in order so what you know h5 is going to be smaller than h1 like super small now h1 is going to be the biggest font that you're going to have on your page plus it's usually used for a title so this is perfect all right, so let's see. Then we have a paragraph, and then we have another section that we're gonna call it mm, sizes. All right, okay. Now let's see how we should do this. Maybe for now, I'm gonna create a div matter of fact I, I should do it yeah I'm gonna do it with a div size and then we're gonna call this title All right and then I'm gonna copy this and then inside of sizes we're gonna put each one of these so this is where it's gonna get interesting how should I do this? Should I start it with an unordered list, which I could do it like that. I could do it unordered list, and then from here, I could come and say li, matter of fact, mm, should I make it? Yeah, li. Li. And then I start putting in the things, the sizes. As Um, large extra large oops extra extra large because that's what she said but uh, let me see what else uh custom cool now that's fine i think we got everything in there now let's come to this let's create the button area so let's name this okay this div we got h5 h1 uh let's say jacket so good sauce jacket dripping sauce all right now let's get something from hipster ipsum that's where i get my hipster ipsum because i don't like lorem ipsum because it gives you a whole bunch of weird you know words this at least you know are real words where it's like williamsburg cornhole semiotic for local pop whatever all right those are real words so let's continue with this put this here okay now what was what we're we up to right now okay we got the buttons that we got to create uh, let me see dev class okay we still got this we did the sizes what else we gotta do find the store well the buttons right so let's do div class action btns action buttons 
Now, for this, let's create a Supreme Hood jacket. What else? Uh, two buttons. So we're going to start with this. We could actually do it, let's see, with a tax. So we say red hollow btn then inside of it we say span class large large text okay and then we're gonna put in the the dollar amount so 195 well if you're talking about you know bait you're talking more like 495 all right all right kid <laughs> all right let me see and then here we could just name add to cart now you're asking yourself why did I do it like this why did I put a span inside of it so this is the link right so this whole box right here, this whole button is a link. Now, why did I make it to put, you know, the span inside of it? Well, you see the 195 is bigger than this. So let's say this right here, the add to cart is actually the, the font size is going to be because of the font, uh, the, sorry, the link, right? So it's going to have the font of the link. Now, because this is different, we have to give this a different font. So inside of it, we use span. Span is perfect to just give a, a certain text, a bigger font, or if you want it to be bold or whatever, right? So that's why I used it. Now, let's create the other button. Let's copy this. So let's create the other button. gray let's say light gray light gray btn and then delete this and create uh, find a store now we have all the elements of the page we're missing this but we might be doing that later on not now all right guys so we basically got through this whole part of, you know, laying things out as far as HTML. Now we're going to jump into the CSS. All right. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bow. GGG, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. By the way, if you want to know exactly what courses I took to become a web developer, they're right there in the description. It's no secret. It's nothing crazy. It's no secret gift that I had is just pretty much I took the courses they're pretty cheap they're like $15 each on specials and just listen man change your life change your lifestyle do something fun and something cool that you could call a career Bow.